Hi there. So for this question then, you had to show that the normal to this curve C at the point A where x equal 2 had this equation, y equals minus 2x plus 7. So this is a very standard question method that you use, so uh, I'll still take you through it though, just in case there were any problems. We need to basically work out this equation then of the normal and it's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. should be familiar with that form. So I've already got one of the x coordinates at a. I need the y coordinate at a. And I can get that just by substituting x equals 2 into the equation here for c. So I've done that, OK, and y turns out to be 3. So we've got the x and y coordinates now at a. I just need the gradient and to get the gradient of this blue line here I need to first of all work out the gradient of the tangent to the curve at uh, any point x on it which is done by differentiation. Then I can pick up on the perpendicular gradient rule to get the gradient of the normal. So I differentiate this to get the gradient at any point x on the curve for the tangent. Notice how I've changed 18 over x though to 18x to the power minus 1. Differentiate in the usual way, OK, and then clean this up again, this negative power. 18x to the minus 2 is 18 over x squared. So when x equals 2 at the point a, I can substitute it into here and get the gradient of the tangent, which turns out to be a half. And good check here to see that we've got a positive gradient, so I would expect it to be going that way, OK? Then, using the perpendicular gradient rule, just change the fraction, that is, turn it upside down and change the sign. So changing the sign gives me a negative, Turning the fraction upside down is 2 over 1, or just simply minus 2 there. And so the equation of the normal is going to be y minus y1. I've chosen then y1 as being the 3 here. Equals m, the gradient, which is minus 2, times x minus x1. x1 being the x-coordinate at a, which is 2. And then just a question of expanding the bracket and adding 3 to both sides gives you y equals minus 2x plus 7. All right?